This is Mark Tooley speaking to you from the darkened offices of the Institute on Religion and Democracy here in uh, Washington, D.C., letting you know that uh, here at IRD, we neither slumber nor sleep as we endeavor to uh, serve you and uh, the churches. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to share with you um, a few thoughts uh, focused on an article I wrote uh, earlier today, uh, responding to a United Methodist uh, campus minister in Colorado who wrote a, a very um, interesting and also a disturbing blog uh, describing his understanding of the progressive Christianity with which um, he identifies. And as he defines it, uh, his beliefs, or rather his disbeliefs, uh, he does not believe that Jesus Christ was any more divine than any other person. And he believes that the Trinity of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is merely uh, Christian poetry. And uh, he believes the Bible was not written by God. Uh, and in fact, uh, understands Christianity to be uh, mostly um, a framework for uh, advocating justice in the world. He draws a contrast between this uh, postmodern progressive Christianity and uh, the older Protestant modernist liberalism of the last century. And I agree with him that uh, there is an important distinction there, although I don't agree with um, how he identifies his own beliefs. The old Protestant liberalism believed in science in rationalism, it rejected uh, the supernatural, it rejected um, the miracles of the Bible, it rejected a literal deity for Jesus Christ, and it was instead uh, focused on uh, ethics and uh, building a more just society. And it believed itself to be uh, the wave of the future. Uh, but in fact, as I've witnessed uh, uh, in my own life, and even over the nearly quarter century of working here at IRD, uh, that old Protestant liberalism uh, has virtually died off. It was um, embodied by church uh, prelates like uh, Episcopal Bishop John Shelby Spong, who made a career of writing books and going on television, uh, rejecting the miracles of the Bible and claiming uh, that they were irrelevant for a modern society. Uh, what Bishop Spong advocated is now largely irrelevant to American and certainly to global Christianity. Uh, the new uh, Protestant liberalism, uh, as I've experienced it, and uh, the Protestant liberals uh, whom I encounter, tend to be um, much more orthodox. They, in fact, affirm the supernatural. They believe uh, many of the miracles of the Bible. Uh, they believe um, Christ is God. Uh, they are liberal in that uh, they uh, accept the full LGBTQ uh, agenda and uh, reject the historic Christian teachings about marriage and uh, the human body. And of course, they're very committed to uh, uh, leftist politics and to identity politics. But uh, I have generally uh, never met a uh, an old uh, or a, a, an adherent of the old Protestant uh, modernism, uh, who was under 60 years of age, and almost all uh, uh, liberal Protestants uh, whom I meet under the age of 50 generally do believe in um, uh, the miraculous and uh, the supernatural and in the deity of Christ, uh, but are very liberal on other issues. So this uh, Colorado Methodist um, campus minister I would say identifies or actually is much more part of the old Protestant liberalism than in this so-called new postmodern progressive Christianity. But uh, the important point uh, here is that, uh, in fact, uh, the Lord, uh, whom we Christians worship, uh, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is not merely uh, a piece of poetry, but in fact uh, is both our judge and our savior and uh, the hope of the world. And uh, his message has uh, as much uh, power today as it had uh, 50, 100, 1,000, or 2,000 years ago. 
and around the world, uh, Orthodox Christianity, uh, premised on the claims of Jesus Christ, is uh, thriving and growing. And so uh, we can be hopeful. Uh, it is sad and, and tragic that uh, persons like this uh, Colorado campus minister and uh, so many other Protestant clergy over the last 100 years have, um, uh, in effect, lost their faith and preached a, a power uh, without uh, authority and without the ability to uh, transform and convert. Uh, but uh, their unbelief uh, does not represent the future of Christianity. And uh, so with that hope and confidence, uh, I leave you and uh, appreciate your listening and uh, we'll hope to speak with you next week. Good night.